Hello again. So we've come back on today's investigation to the cemetery in Leighton. Now, last time while we, we were here, we got some sort of communication. It's probably going to be loud again because we are right by the railway track, so the trains will be going past. Now, the communication we had last time, we think it was soldier because on the spirit box, we were getting messenger, area one, physical, and we even got a surname. And what I did is once we got back home, I did further research and we found out that there was a soldier with the, that particular name and he was from the RAF. So today's investigation, hopefully, we want to try and get in contact with the soldier. But anyway, right. So without further ado, we'll get sorted. Can I just say on that note that in this cemetery there is quite a few soldiers laid to rest but this one in particular from the RAF was actually stationed at uh, formerly known as Brancut Barracks which is now Game Books Barracks uh, because it was where the RAF was at one stage Right then, so what are we going to do? Should we? I'll do my call out but I'm not going to do it the normal call out spirits that are here my name is Joanne and this is Paul we were here about a week ago and we came into contact with you if the spirits that are here remember us would you please like to communicate with us we mean you no harm or disrespect and if there's any soldiers here we would like to communicate with you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put the ghost tube on and Paul's gonna ask the questions and we will go from there so let's get sorted I haven't got my glasses on there we go right We know the soldier that served in the RAF were very disrespectful. proud We're not being disrespectful. We don't do any of that. We come here with the utmost respect for you. Anyway, yes, the RAF pilot, um, we're very proud of what you did for this country. And if you are here, I would like to speak to you and get to know you a bit more. Do you remember us, spirits? Do you remember us? We also know the several other... Iron. Iron. We also know the several other soldiers are buried here as well. We honour all of you. Thank you. has just said we honour all of you you've probably heard it but it came through on the ghost tube thank you so you're more than welcome spirits are we talking with soldiers are we talking with any military people We never come here disrespecting them to you, we come here with the most respect to you all. You can use our energy. We're just here to hear about your stories. I have the device down on the floor, if you can see it. It will flash. If you're near us, you can come up and touch it. Cheating. Cheating? What do you mean by that? Do they mean when they're appointed with a cheating death? Could be. That could be another one. Is that what you mean, spirits? Is that what you mean? Please, any spirits that are here, please come forward. Please don't be afraid. 
We also know there's a cold screen guard here as well that's made, laid to rest in this cemetery. Please, sirs. He served in the Great War. Are there any other spirits here? You're welcome. You're welcome. I think we have got the soldier. I think we have got some sort of military. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We salute you and we are grateful for what you have done for our country. Are you okay? You know, it took a lot of guts to do what you did when you got into those planes and went up into the sky to defend this country. In Please. myself, I don't think I would have been able to do that, but you guys did. I'm inside it. I'm inside it. Is that inside the plane? It's plane. Are you sitting in your plane, Spirit? Did you used to fly a Spitfire? We'll never know what it was like inside that plane in the battle. We can only just imagine. Please, sir, could you give me your name? Or can you tell us, or can you remember who we are? You know, we never forget you. We always remember you on the day the world fell silent. Yeah, I was on a vision of him in his uniform, you in the pool, Aria beautiful. Sexy man in uniform, well I like those. Very smart young lad, but very young when he got killed in action. Don't go there. Do you not want us to talk about it, spirit? We want people to understand you, that you were such a brave person. You gave your life to help and serve others. Please, Spirit, come and speak with us. You know, my granddad, he uh, fought in the Second World War as a soldier, and I was very, very proud of him. Just as I'm proud of you guys. Do you remember Spirit? Throat. Right. Throat. Throat. Did something happen to you while you were in battle? Did you have something happened to your throat? Were you proud that you served the country? And we salute you very much so. Please, is the spirit of the soldier here? Or have we got any other military people with us? Or any of the spirits would like to come forward? Kevin. Kevin. Do we call you Colonel Kevin, Sergeant Kevin, Lieutenant Kevin? I told him. I told him. Is that referring to you? They told him. Kevin. I think we had that name last time. You know, Kevin, lovely. Ideas. Do you mind us being here talking to you? Kevin, I don't normally like to ask this, but how old are you, sweetheart?
Kevin, are you buried in this cemetery? Do you know you've crossed over? Have we got any spirit children here as well with us? We'd like to come forward. When? When? It might be when I was doing that. Yeah. I'd have to look back on that. Do you remember Paul being here on his own? Do you remember him being here? I'm going to be coming back here again, but do it one evening. How do you feel about me doing that? Coming back here to you and doing it in the evening with you. If any of you young soldiers want me to bring some beer down for you, I would. There's some cigarettes. Would you like that? Some music. Protect. Protect. I'm still getting a vision of this, this soldier. Are you this. protecting this cemetery spirit? This, oh yeah, right. I'm still getting a vision of it. Are you protecting the cemetery or are you protecting our country? I'm serious, serious, are you? Yeah, with the real cream hair and all that. They look really smart in that era. They it look is. really, they really, really smart. Is. And that's what the vision I've got of it. I know they used to call you the real cream boys back in the day. Bit of spit and polish on your boots as well. No, or not you are the F pilots fought in the Battle of Britain as well. A lot of you went up, but a lot of you never came home. You were very brave in that battle, and you did win the Battle of Britain. But you lost a lot of men. You guys helped us. Disrespectful. Win. Please, we're not being disrespectful. Are we in communication with another spirit who thinks we are? We are not disrespectful. We can be, but we don't want to be. If you are that spirit that's saying that, then come forward and speak to us. I'm coming. Come forward then. Come and communicate with us. Come and sit with us. Use this meter down at the bottom to show you here. Use my energy. Touch one of us. Or even make that device light up. It won't harm you. How many spirits are here, please? Right, I don't know what to do now. So I'm going to switch ghost tube off now, guys. So, ghost tube's off. Picking your scooter up.
I'm going to go Vox. Please, guys, if you hear any words that come through, then please let us know. You just divide my hand if you want to come forward, so we can see you're there. When I do the Estes spirit box me method, and I've got the headphones on and the blind box, good for you with that? Um, that's the noise I hear. The Please, Kevin, if you're still here, can you talk into this device? This device will never harm you. I was going to be female or male spiritual. I was really still got the fear that there's disrespect to me. here or from the armed forces communicating with us. We thank you for that. <laughs> thank you, sir. 
looking at ladies in magazines. <laughs> I bet you're all a couple of eye candy and all. Boys, I get the vision that like to have a laugh and a joke. Are you having a laugh and a joke with us? <coughs> that was a seagull what? noise then. <coughs> Come on boys, let's have a laugh. Always ever go like to the dancing over at the metal. That sounds like seagulls flying over. Yeah. <laughs> this is brilliant. This box has never gone off like this before, ever. No. Thank you so, so much. You're doing so well. Listen, I am listening. so sorry if you were only 16. I am so, so sorry that you went to war at that age, such a young age. You were very, very brave. Very brave soldiers. Very brave soldiers indeed. And from the bottom of my heart, we cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Would you like to go and rest now, spirit? Sound is did sound like a play. Do you remember that song, Those Magnificent Men in Their Flying Machines? When the Lance Lynn sang that song, there'd be bluebirds flying over the white Christmas over. And we'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but we'll meet again some sunny day. Oh, I think they've gone now. Yeah. Come, they do! Anything you want to say before we before we say thank you? And at night. At night. That they saw. That they saw. Would you like Paul to come back in the evening when it's dark so he will talk with you more?
Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it there. So, obviously, we have come in communication with some soldiers, which I really hope we did, and we have done. Um, so I've just, I know it's breezy, but I've just got a, I've got goosebumps. Yeah, they, they, they were around quite a lot. Oh my God, I've got goosebumps. And I'm not even cold, it's not cold today. No. Wow. It's been good having them here. Yeah, so, we've come back. Now, obviously, Paul will most definitely come back and do an evening investigation. And maybe he can get more contact with the soldiers at night. They're probably living out the residual of what they were doing. So, what's this been today for you like? It's been brilliant. I mean, it's been a good investigation. We've got quite a lot of food this time. Um, but yeah, coming back here at night, um, I think I will be doing that. Um, and I think that, that's when we can put a closure. Uh, it depends what we get through there, but then we can actually put a closure. Yeah. To know that we've done it. Um, because we can always come back, say, next year. But I think if I do one last one here as a closure, and do it in the evening, we can see what I can get through coming through from that. Yeah, um, so I think what we'll do then is obviously when I did the closure of, I can't think where I was, when I did the closure, oh, up at Braunston, the disused abandoned church, obviously I asked the spirits to go and rest and, you know, we put a close on that investigation and this will be the same place, you know, Paul will put a close on this and this is the cemetery in the Eaton that we will shut down now. And we, not shut down where you won't be able to come. I mean, if there's... If there's any of you out there that would like to come over, then just search in Google cemetery in Eaton, and if you really want to know where it is either pm me or pm paul yeah. and we will tell you but as far as our investigations goes paul will be doing the last one and then that's it this will be a close on this cemetery um so yeah so it's as usual goodbye goodbye and from me until we meet again stay safe happy hunting and we'll see you on the next adventure bye